The floor is littered with cat litter just about everywhere, upstairs and downstairs. We have a cat that I guess has died and been and on all over. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Good morning, I'm Robert and today I'm with Spalding Decon and today we're going to be taking care of a house that has a little bit of a cat problem as you can see. We have the floor is littered with cat litter just about everywhere, upstairs and downstairs. Now we're taking care of this individual here. Her health is particularly felt and declined. So we're here today trying to assist her in getting this, you know, taken care of because obviously she's not able to do that. So we have to come down here and provide our services to her, make sure she's in a clean, healthy living environment. That way we can, you know, see her living better in a, in a more healthier situation pretty much. This is, right now where it's at is pretty much uninhabitable. And I, I think anybody would agree with me looking around and there's just about cat litter everywhere, like in every crevice you could find. So as you can see, it's pretty much littered everywhere. And actually animal control had to come out and they took care of most of the, the felines that were around the apartment. But I want to take you upstairs so you can get another glimpse. So she, in her bad health, is actually unable to make it up the stairs, I believe. So up here is pretty much not being taken care of. The cats pretty much took over. The entire bathroom is in decline. So there's even cat feces in the bathtub. I'll let you come over here so you can see it. So even to the extent of the bathtub, the, the felines had nowhere else to go. They found the bathtub and they made it another spot so as you can see when something isn't taken care of for a, a proportionate amount of time this is what could happen to your residence apartment house pretty much anything especially with these animals that require so much love and attention you know this is uh this is heartbreaking to see so you know obviously we're here to fix it and i think uh by the end of this you'll definitely see a change that's for sure So right here we have a piece of the carpet that's been untouched for several years. You know, the rest of the carpet is pretty tattered at this point. You can tell that there's this rough stains and it's very coarse. You can tell like the texture of it is just very different compared to this side where this side's been very exposed to, you know, urine, water, all kinds of different particles and dirt elements. And that's what makes the carpet over time turn into this. Essentially, when you first get a carpet, this is what it's like, right? You see how it pulls apart? This over time is the end result. And you know, hopefully we can get it fixed and better for them. Uh, that's what we're here to do. So.
hats, they uh, tore up the carpet and took it over. All right, so today we're gonna begin the process of removing this carpet. And basically that entails us getting everything off of the carpet first, all the clutter, all of the debris, anything that might be in the way, like this uh, animal feces, for example. So this carpet here is tainted beyond repair. So you couldn't have it steam cleaned. The way it looks now is very just destroyed and distraught. So we're here, we're gonna rip it out and we're gonna roll it up and we're gonna take it out. It looks like it's been here for maybe a year, months at least, you know, it's been here for a very long time. And we're here to take it out. So we're gonna actually get this whole room cleaned up to the point to where we can roll this carpet out, cut it out. Our job is gonna be to take care of this and knock it out, get it out of here. Hopefully you'll see a better difference in the end because it's definitely not gonna be like this. Have you ever wanted to become a crime scene cleaner like me? Well, now you can. Spalding Decon has put together a variety of courses that can teach you everything you need to know about becoming a crime scene cleaner. We will explain everything on how to get crime scene cleaning jobs, how to clean up biohazards and whores. Click the link in our bio and use promo code CLEAN for 10% off. Now back to the video. see there's plenty of dust wrapped around each one so you know it's been there for a fairly decent amount of time I mean the cats love this place something that cats love to do is cats love to crawl up under your bed that's one of their favorite spots if you have a household cat that's always what they're gonna do they find it safe under a mattress so as you can tell, this place was neglected for a while. We've been working on the floors up here. We just reached under the mattress up here in this bedroom and we realized that this was also one of their favorite spots as well. Now as you can tell, just like where the litter box in the corner was, this area has highly been used for feces and urine. So the old birthday card that's in here, saturated in urine.
All right, so as we can see right here, we have a large pile of cat feces right here on the floor. So what we've just been doing all day is we've been going around here, ripping out the carpets, collecting any sort of trash material or hazardous, you know, just anything that can be contaminated with feces or urine in it, really. So this rug right here was probably one of the more serious rugs, I think, in the house. But besides the upstairs bedroom, there's a large pile up there. Okay guys, so we're at the end of day one here at the, the cat house and I just want to give you guys an inside view of what's going on and how it looks after we've spent a whole day pretty much decontaminating the residence and you can kind of have a view for yourself and see like the process of how it works. So let me bring you inside and you can come see. So right here in the main foyer, this is where like there was plenty of clothes, junk and trash right here on the floor. So the first thing we did when we got here was we organized and secured all of the loose garbage, anything that had cat urine on it, cat feces, anything like that. Because, you know, that was the main priority was getting that out of the house. It was a health hazard, right? That's what it looked like after we pulled everything off of the floor. Because remember, I said there was clothes on the floor and garbage and stuff like that. So what we do is we basically remove this layer of carpet and down to the foam pad here. Once we remove that, get it all cleaned up. So as you can see throughout the house, it's mostly just concrete on the floors because we removed most of the carpet already. And mm -hmm. when you have the carpet, most people don't know, but the carpet actually has a foam pad underneath of it. So this foam pad is going to what make is what makes the carpet feel soft, right? The, the soft material is just the fabric for the top. This is what makes your carpet cushion. This corner was littered with so much cat feces. It looked like it looked like the mountain of poop in Jurassic Park. It was huge, right? It looks very empty. It looks like it's under construction, right? This room had a bed in it. It had furniture in it. That's the only piece of remaining furniture left in this bedroom. But this room wasn't actually as bad as the rest of the house. But, you know, just to kind of give you a glimpse of what is going on inside the house and how we're operating. At this point, we've got the most, we got all the floor, the carpet pulled up to where we're gonna come in. We're gonna disinfect everything. Tomorrow will, will be day two. We'll come in here, disinfect everything, sweep it all up, get everything clean, the walls. So I think that just about wraps it up for this house here. And I really uh, hope you join us again on our next video. So good morning. So we are here at a hoarder house of cats. The lady had probably 20, 30 cats in her house locked up with her. So it is a major job for these technicians today. They are going to have to remove everything from the house and also clean it out. Baseboards, um, tax strips, carpet, you name it, furniture, anything that you can because you will not be able to get that cat smell out if you do not remove it. So. They are here today to do that as you can see they're halfway filled a dump trailer already and from there we'll see how it goes by the end of the day. Yeah those are definitely palmetto bugs because they got wings. that I guess has died and been and on all over, flattened. But look, he's still got his whiskers and some teeth. Look at those. Yeah, look, he's still got fur. He didn't die too long ago. Yeah, so I was cleaning out the garage at this lady's house and well, we found two cats that she said that was missing. Um, obviously, they didn't make it. Um, actually, they look like uh, they didn't really die that too long ago because probably because of the heat and stuff, they mummify, but they have um, getting uh, roaches and other bugs or building houses. Like, look at this one. This one still has the hair. And look, it looked like it was meowing when it died. So it was probably in a lot of pain. But I found them squished under a bunch of stuff. What do I make of today? I make of today the fact that this lady is very sick and needs a lot of help.
to have this many cats in a house with her to leave a mess like this, I would rather clean a decomp any day of the week compared to this. Look, he's a big mama. This is my buddy from Joe's apartment. Remember that show? <laughs> oh. You're free. So today we took care of the garage, and as you can see from the first day, we had a lot of work to start with. You know, there was basically just garbage everywhere, cat feces, cat urine. This was not as bad as the rest of the house, but I will say that it had its fair share of critters, bugs, all kinds of nasty stuff just laying around. You know, we basically started just by moving, removing the trash after that. It's all basically just clearing it out until we can make room and throw everything away. All right, so we have to move this bookshelf because from the rest of the carpet being contaminated like it was, this part of the bookshelf is actually exposed under the bookshelf to where the carpet shows. So our job right now is to move this giant shelf and we're going to move it and rip out the carpet. Hey guys, we're finishing up here at the Cat Horde house. Um, we got this call through code enforcement. Uh, we had a call to remove all the carpets along with the uh, cat feces and urine. And then after that, we did disinfect the walls and the floors under where the carpets were. Um, in order to get to all of those items, of course, we had to throw out the hoard um, initially. This took us just about two days to complete with four people. And that's another job well done. Hope to see you in the next video.
Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.